Hello children, habari zenu? How is your stay at home? Mmetumis. Mimi nimeomis sana today. I am your teacher. My name is teacher Jim. How has been your experience so far? If you are like my friend Joshua who normally loves to play football and now you can't play football because you can't go out to go and play with your friends because there are no friends in the playing ground with you. What do you do? If you are like me, I would tell my friend Joshua, Joshua, you can always go back into your room. The way we do when we pray, take your hands together and then you ask God and you tell him, God, I miss playing with my friends. They are so good. I miss playing football. Now I can't play because of this situation. God in heaven, please be good. I want to play back with my friends. Please help this situation to come down in Jesus name. Or if you're like my friend Kezia who loves going at home and talking with their friends after school about the episode that I watched yesterday night on Maria, what do you do now that you can't tell them your seat your story? Go back to your room. Do what we do when we pray. Go and tell God, God, I miss my friends because now I can't talk to anyone about what I saw. My sisters don't listen to me. My brother does not listen. Mom and dad they are busy. Please God, I'd like to have time with my friends again. Please prepare a chance for me for us to go back to school and be able to talk with them in Jesus name. Or if you are like my other friend whom we shall not name today and you know when you are at home mom has to keep saying Ufike kwa nyumba mapema ama ukae nje. Mimi nitakuchapa ukilichelewa kufika nyumbani. And you know now because of this situation you cannot go outside to play you can't go outside to do anything umeka kwa nyumba the whole day what do you do again go back to your room remember what we do take your hands together and you tell god god i am very sorry that i force mom every day to shout i am very sorry i will not do it again please 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 i miss going back outside to play with my friends God please 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 hear my prayer in Jesus name amen So now guys today I am hoping I am hoping you have your books your notepad or your bible on the side and your pen so that we can learn today's class and today's lesson will be shared by a friend of mine who is going to teach us from the book of Mark chapter 12 verse 41 44 Mark chapter 12 verse 41 to 44 it says as Jesus sat near the temple treasury he watched the people as they dropped in their money many rich men dropped in a lot of money then a poor widow came along and dropped in to, in two little copper coins worth about a penny he called his disciples together and said to them i tell you that this poor widow put more in the offering box than all the others for the others put in what they had to spare of their riches but she poor as she is put in all she had she gave all she had to live on Thank you. so you have heard our story for today our story is about our good friend jesus do you remember who jesus is and jesus is who that answer you're saying that one the son of god who did what for us he came and died on the cross for our for our sins. So Jesus one day. This is a story about Jesus and he was somewhere. And where was he? So let us read together. Verse 41. And Jesus sat down opposite the place where the offerings were put and watched the crowd putting their money into the temple treasury. So you would ask what is a temple treasury? We can say in other words this is that place where we put our offerings. Come up in our collection boxes or somewhere kakwa bag or kabahasha where you do your thing and where they collect that is where the temple treasury looks like and so Jesus was somewhere looking at that place unaweza mwa unaweza imagine when Jesus alikuwa anachungulia kwa hiyo ka box maybe alikuwa anatupa jicho juu akiangalia ama maybe alikuwa amefunga macho and you know he's the son of god he knows everything so man god knows everything and he can see everything maybe alikuwa tu amefunga macho akisema Yeah, I can see that person putting that amount of money. I can see this one putting that amount of money. Be imaginative. Try to imagine. So, and the word of God says, many rich people threw in large amounts. 
Imagine the most biggest amount of money you know. Count it in your head. Maybe someone knows 1000, maybe someone knows 10000, another person knows 100000, maybe even 1 million. It's okay. That amount of money. Imagine they were putting a lot of money. And then the word of God continues to say, "But a poor widow came and put in two very small copper coins, worth only a fraction of a penny." She put in two small copper coins. Imagine kalaka one bob unaonanga kwa nyumba. Labda hata inakwanga kwa dirisha juu. Siku hizi hakuna sweet ya one bob, ndio? Ziliisha. Maybe kuna ya two bob. So imagine hiyo two bob ya ka sweet yenye unaikanga pahali unaenda kutafuta. Ukipata imeachiliwa place maybe kwa ngoe ya mtu ama pale kwenye mnaoshanga vitu zikaachwa hapo juu imagine that katubo hizo pesa mbili hizo ndizo this poor widow had and another person would ask maybe a question who is a widow and that is a good question a widow how many of us know that we are all children of How many of us know that we were created all of us by God? God is our father. All of us. Me, you, mom, dad, auntie, uncle, maybe hata kuna mtu anaishiki na shushu ama guka. We are all children of God. And because we are all children of God, God put us here down in this earth that we would come and live here. But then when he put us here at one point in time we all have to go back to the one who created us this means that ukiishi maisha yako for some time and another time when we when you exceed your time that has been put for you by god here you now go back to him you now go back and that is what we would see people calling us people passing away or people dying because their time on earth has ended and now they have to go to be with god above above in heaven so when people go for example now this woman when we speak of a widow this means that her husband ule mtu alikuwa ame muoa the man who had married this person he went now to be with god his time on us elisha so that is who we call a widow so this poor widow she put in two coins and then the story continues calling his disciples to him jesus said I tell you the truth. This does not mean that Jesus used to, to lie. Please. Mungu wetu hadanganya, hadanganyangi. He is normally speaking the truth every time. Lakini alikuwa anaambia, I tell you the truth. So no. This poor widow has put more into the treasury than all the others. They all gave out of their wealth. But this woman out of her poverty put in everything. Alika kila kitu. All that she had to live on. And now someone would wonder. You know have put that big amount of money. You know that big amount of money in your head. Maybe 1000. And there is two coins. How is two coins bigger than 1000? Sindio. It high makes sense, sindio. And I want us to actually see I have some some coins with me here. So no, we are going to assume that this woman had two coins. Ndio hizi. Unaziona? Ziko hapa. Acha ni turn ndio muone ni one bob. One bob, one bob. So no. These are two coins, two shilling coins. So no. This is all that the woman has. Hizi ndizo tu peke yako nazo. So no. And someone else mwenye tuliambiwa hapo na Jesus before rich people threw in large amounts so i will i have some money with me some it may not be a lot but it will help us to see what we are trying to explain so maybe kuna mtu alikuwa na kama hi how much amount of money is this is your answer correct i will assume you have said my answer my answer is 500 shillings no And this other one, do you know this money? How much is this? I am listening to your answer and I I think it is the same as my answer. This is 200 shillings note. 
yeah. so someone else put in this amount of money now if you go to school and your teacher asks you which amount of money between these two is larger than the other what is your answer kuna mtu anaangalia hii na shine shine anasema maybe ya kushine shine ndio mingi kuliko yengine but this is the bigger amount of money why is it the bigger amount of money i will take you back to the knowledge you are taught back in school when you put zeros after a certain number that number is the bigger one the number with the bigger zeros is the number that is actually bigger does one have a zero after it how many zeros are after 500 how many how many zeros are after 200 count if you can count 2 senior so which one is bigger between 500 and 200 again back to your primary school knowledge if the two numbers have the same amount of zeros what do you do you look at the preceding number before the zeros what that means is the number before the zeros senior so between 5 and 2 which number is bigger 5 and 2 5 so your answer 500 is bigger than 200 so jesus anawaambia the people who put in this amount of money ipesa mingi they didn't put in as much as this woman put in and it does not make sense but then he says Ah wengine wote walipeana out of their abundance what they had they had it in abundance kama alitoa 500 alikuwa na 500 nyingine pale kama alitoa 200 alikuwa na 200 nyingine and even more more than all of this that they had put but this woman alikuwa tu na only two coins just two coins only ndio tu alikuwa nayo hakuko na kitu kingine ako nayo except is mimi so akapeana tu zote tu good and that brings us into our lesson for today which will start with a song you have been thinking we're not going to sing no we are actually going to dance so rise up from your feet and then we can all dance together thank you no matter what i see god sees the inside of me the lord is looking at my heart no matter what i see god sees the inside of me the lord is looking at my heart you see when i'm sad you see when i'm mad you still love me and you want to help when you look in me i want you to see love love for my friends and family no matter what i see god sees the inside of me the lord is looking at my heart no matter what i see god sees the inside of me the lord is looking at my heart sad you see when i'm mad you still love me and you want to help when you look in me i want you to see love love for my friends and family no matter what i see God sees the inside of me the Lord is looking at my heart no matter what i see God sees the inside of me the Lord is looking at my heart hi i hope you enjoyed that session with me sindio that song is very nice iko na energy po sindio unasikia tiku Ata unaweza kula sasa breakfast tena, si ndio? So, what are we going to do? We're going to look at what that song says, si ndio? And what does that song say? 
the Lord is looking at my heart. No matter what I see, God sees where the inside of me. There is a verse that teacher Wama taught you weeks ago, and it is found in the book of First Samuel, chapter sixteen, I think, verse seven. The story about Samuel and David. Samuel was a prophet who God called to go and anoint the next king of Israel. And who was king at that time? Your answer? King who? That is the answer. I hope that is the answer. King Saul. And then King Saul hakufanya vizuri mbele ya Mungu. Alisahau njia za Mungu. Akaanza kufanya vitu zake peke yake bila kuuliza the guidance of who? God in heaven. So God said me I want now to look for another king who can lead my people the way that I want them to be led. And so he sent who? Prophet Samuel. And then he went with Prophet Samuel there. So, then Samuel came and met other boys in the house of who? Who was their father? That answer, who was their father? Jesse. So, so he went to the house of who? Jesse. And he met sons of Jesse in that house. And they were big and they were tall. And some of them, they were muscular. You know, maybe they used to go to the gym. Walikuwa nainua mawe. Sindio? Sinyangalia mimi sina muscles mingi, but maybe walikuwa nainua mawe. Sindio? And someone looked at them and he thought, Hey, this one's God. This must be, one of this must be the next king of Israel. But God said something. Sindio? And I want us to read together. First Samuel chapter 16. Verse what? Verse 9. And it's verse 7 and it says, sorry. But the Lord said to Samuel, Do not consider his appearance or his height, for I have rejected him. The Lord does not look at the things man looks at. Man looks at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. Every time God does not see what is outside of us. God sees where? Inside of you. Inside of me. That is where God is looking. And so back to our story. When this person gives our woman, our poor widow, tulisama akona two coins, pesa zangu, nikama zimepata migu. Ah, ndi easy hapa. Two coins, ndi easy. Easy ni zotu peke alikuwa nazo. And this is what was in her heart. God, mimi intakupea, my two coins. Ule mwingine mwenye alitua pesa mingi, but in their heart it was not everything that they had to give to God. God alisema, their amount was not as big as the amount of this woman. And so you are at home na unashanga, teacher, mimi sina pesa. Za kupeana. Mimi na peango pesa na mom ama dad. Na akinipe pesa zangu zote, if you are a good boy, you normally come on Sunday in your class and then ukiambia uweke pesa kwa sayaka una eka. But if you are like another naughty boy who amepewa 20 bob and then akienda pahali anapata mtu wakona 10 bob mbili, anamuambia tunaweza exchange. Anachukua 10 bob mbili, ndiyo, let us not even say what they want to do because none of us does that. Ndiyo, I am trusting every one of us is truthful in giving what we have. God wants us to give everything we have. And I will give you a scenario. Let's say you're at home and mom comes with a cake. Mom buys you a good cake, a big cake. And then a kawapo, amekuletea keki, mkola, labda you have brothers and sisters or maybe even auntie at home. Every one of you eats that piece of cake. And then in a cocoa fridge, sindio? And then we una jua ile cocoa fridge, and mabaki ka piece, maybe come to moja ama. Hapo mtu moja, tuseme ni mtu moja. Mlikula mkamaliza. Wewe ukaamka asubuhi mapema. Hiyo siku uka make sure umeamka kama venye una mkanga siku ya kwenda shule. 6 asubuhi. Ndio ufanye nini? Ukwe wa kwanza kuendea keki, sindio? And what do you do? Unajua? Tulifunza na teacher First come, first come. Who knows that proverb? First come, first out. Sindio? And you're thinking now, because I am the first one to wake up, I will get to eat the cake. 
but what does god say god wants us to give everything we have and what does he say we share we share with our neighbors we share with our friends with our family everything you want there ukona keki yako and you don't want to share with your sister god is saying share with everything you have everything give out of your heart full of your heart kama ni kubwa mkatie mkatie kuota kama moyo wako inasikia kumpea kuota mkatie kuota kama moyo wako inasikia kumpea nusu mpatie nusu because god is looking at what your heart has to give if that is what you can give umpe hiyo if you are maybe big and you're grown and you know ukikosa kule keki haitaku hautakufa si ndio hautakufa kuna mkate unaweza kula pia mkate you would sacrifice and say my siblings they are small acha tu ni wachie juu wao wanapenda keki atakuniliko so unamwachia and this is not only in such kind of an example even in our love toward other people even in our love for our parents if you are there and you normally know that you love your mom more than dad <laughs> leo leo or you love your dad more than mom or you don't even love auntie in the house hey today we are going to change sindio we are going to change because god is saying you give everything you have kila kitu if you know you do not love one of them the same way as the other you go and tell god what do we do when we pray you go to your room unafunga mikono kwa mwambie ya god unajua mimi napenda dad juu hanisha uti yangi na anakujanga tu ananiongeleshea vizuri lakini mom anafanyanga tu ni kule zile ma vitu za green kwa chakula kila siku na sijui kwa nini na hazitest vizuri na nimemwambia na hata nilitapika na Mungu hakuangalia anashinda tu akini force but god god you think that we love them the same way I am begging you nifungue tu moyo wangu niweze kumpenda si ndio niweze tu kumpenda and if god you if god you can do it kesho kiena kwa supermarket aende tu akiwa amechelewa zote zikuwe zimei zimeisha and i will be very grateful in jesus name amen you make a prayer and you tell god teach me to open my heart to love them kama ni auntie unamwambia god I've not been doing good to auntie but now I want to do good. I want to share the way I do good to mom I want to do good to auntie because you are looking to do good. You want me to do good with everyone to give my whole heart to everyone. If it is your sibling how you treat your brother small brother or sister or even your elder brother or sister you do it with your heart that wants to do good because this is what God is looking for us to do. I hope you have learned our story. God is looking for us to give with everything we have in our hearts. Sindio, we are going to give with everything we have in our hearts. Thank you. I know you're praying with me. If you know there's a place unafikianga nashinda kupeana with my heart. God is there to help us. Sindio, that is why Jesus came to show us what God would want us to do. So that mnakumbuka when tulisema when we live our life here One day we shall go and tell God. Ndio. Tukifika huko tunamwambia God you taught me to do good to my parents. Na nimekuwa mtiifu. Nimekuwa faithful to doing good. Ndio. Thank you for paying attention. We are going to learn a memory verse. Yes, a memory verse, short memory verse. Ndio. You are going to turn with me to Jeremiah chapter 17. Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 10. Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 10 how many know it how many know it how many know it we're going to say it together i the lord search the heart and examine the mind to reward a man according to his conduct according to what his deeds deserve so we're going to say it together sa pole pole i the lord search the heart and examine the mind to reward a man according to his conduct according to what his deeds deserve melewa sindio god looks well inside of us in our hearts at all times let god 
Just look into your heart and see that you want to do good with everything you have in your heart. So today I brought in a visitor with me, a good friend of mine. Na nilikuwa nataka ni introduce kwenu. So welcome my friend. Hi children, how are you? Happy Sunday. My name is Teacher Faith. I am so honored to be your teacher this morning. So today we are going to um, have a song from a verse. It's like a memory verse, but you sing it so that it can stick to your head. Yes, it is Psalms chapter 19, verse 7 to 11. I hope you like it. May God bless you and continue being the good children of God. Thank you. <coughs> The love of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. More to be desired are they than gold, yet than much fine gold. Sweeter also than honey on the honeycomb. More to be desired are they than gold, yet than much fine gold. Sweeter also than honey on the honeycomb. The percepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. More to be desired are they than gold, yet than much fine gold. Sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb. More to be desired are they than gold, yet than much fine gold. Sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The rules of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, yet than much fine gold. Sweeter also than honey on the honeycomb. More to be desired are they than gold, yet than much fine gold. Sweeter also than honey on the honeycomb. Sweeter also than honey on the honeycomb. Nicole. Thank you so much, kids. I hope that verse blessed you with the Lord with you. God bless you. Be good children and stay safe. I love you so much. God bless you. Bye. Bye.